Well, hello, Mad Artist fans. It's another episode of the Mad Artist. And today, and today, we're going to do something that's a little different. I haven't been painting because I've had a neck injury and I'm kind of, it's going to be kind of really uh, acting up on me. But I'm, I got a portrait I'm going to be doing soon. But we're going to do a little something different. We're going to do something a little easier. I saw this stand online that was a free floating stand made out of wood. I only saw it for a few seconds, but I did a quick sketch of it and then I just drew it out. And I want to make this thing and I figured what the hell, it could be a good show just to have you see this being done. And I, I drew up a little picture of it. You're going to see this. As you can see, this is what I thought I saw at the time. It's a stand on the bottom hanging over like this, and then this part hangs over and floats in space. It seems like it floats in space, but it's connected by strings, right in the corners and right in the center. It's some kind of a balance there. And I hope I get it right, because if you get it just a little wrong, it's probably not gonna work. So, I'm gonna give it a shot. So we'll basically see what happens. First move, we're gonna go out into the garage and we're gonna cut the pieces of wood we need. And I got it mapped out here with the sizes, eight inches, 10 inches, four inches, and we're gonna see what we can do. I'm hoping this thing comes out good and I hope you enjoy it because it could be a lot of fun putting this together. And it's gonna be a lot of fun seeing if it actually works, you know what I mean? Because I, I really don't know, to tell you the truth. Well, let's get going. Ah! Well, hi, man, artist fans. And I'm here inside our wood shop over here, which needs a lot of cleaning up this wood. I did a lot of cutting here and there. And we're going to start cutting the pieces for this free floating stand we were talking about. And here's the wood I decided to use. I stripped down a couple of pieces of, uh, this looks like a palin or something. It's a little harder than a, than a, than a, than a, than a, than a pine wood. But it's a nice clean wood and it has a nice grain to it and everything else. And we're going to start cutting our angles, our 45 degree angles and our straight angles. And what we do is we slide this out here so it'll level. And then we can set up some, do this. And then we open up the saw. Like this. And we're going to slide a little more. And now we're going to be able to do this. And what we do is... First thing we do, we're going to cut all our 8 inch ones. Now our 8 inch pieces are going to be 8 inches long, so I take a pencil and I mark it at 8 inches. But I'm not going to do a, a straight 8 inch cut here because I want to do 45s. Because 4 of these things have, will have to have 145 on one side and 2 of them have to have 245s on each side so I can make that half a square, you know what I mean, that, that, that um, U, U shape. So right now, I'm going to turn this thing to 45 degrees, it's 45 degrees, I'm going to line up the blade with the mark I just made, and I'm going to cut it. There you go. Now I have my first 8 inch piece. From there, I'm going to measure out another 8 inches. Here's the 8 inch piece here. Okay. And then I'm going to slide it over. Now, this piece is going to be the sister piece to this, so actually, I'm going to put this thing back to 90 degrees. So it's now set at 90 degrees. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to line it up with the mark. Make sure your teeth are on the opposite side of where you're going to keep of the mark because it's going to take like an eighth of an inch off. Now you can see, I got my two, I got my two eight inch pieces right here. And now we're gonna cut the rest of these pieces. And basically you're gonna have to watch this cut it because uh, you're just seeing exactly what's going on. But this is the process, this is the rough wood, and now we're gonna sand all this wood down and we're gonna start putting this thing together once we get all the pieces cut. Ah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, now I have my pieces cut. I got all my pieces cut, the four inch pieces, the 10 inch pieces, the eight inch pieces. Now comes the tedious part of sanding this all down. So we're gonna fast forward this sanding down a little bit. 
And like it says, here's the design. You can see the free floating part here and this part right here on the bottom, which stands. And this thing is supposed to float in there because of these strings. Now we're gonna see if this actually happens or not, because it's gonna be very interesting. But I'll start with the tedious part of sanding, sanding the wood. And I got some nice rough sandpaper here. We're gonna take one piece at a time and basically we're gonna start sanding this thing. And they're gonna sand all the imperfection off. I want this thing perfectly smooth. And what it is is a little elbow grease. You know what I mean? Well, my artist fans, I've gotten to the point where I sanded down all these things. It was a pain in the neck, but I sanded. I got all the pieces together. And now I'm going to try and glue these together. And I think the first step of gluing these together is I got to make this angle right here. And I'll make these two angles to support the two pieces that are going to come down, these two angle pieces that are going to come up and down off of this stand that I hope work, will work out. We'll see what happens. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these pieces away like this and I'm going to take the two eight inch, the full three eight inch pieces. This piece is slotted with the 45s and each one of these has a 45. Now you want these things to be put together tight and I think the only way you're going to get these things tight and there's the only way you're going to get these tight. Wait a second, I'll show you. is that we take the glue, we take the glue right here, and we glue the, we glue the 45s. We spread that out, and we put that there, okay? And then we take this one, and we spread the glue, and we put it on the 45s, like this. Now that looks good, right? But I mean, it's not really tight. It's not like, you know, really compressed. Here's what we gotta do. I cut a piece of wood six inches. Now this six inch piece of wood is gonna fit right in between these two pieces right here. And then I cut another piece of wood that's eight inches. So this makes this a perfect square, like this. So you can see what's going on here. Now I got this little gem right here. This is what I use when I'm putting frames together. This is a vise, it's a frame vise. And it's the greatest frame vise you ever saw. And basically, you slide these pieces over, they're corners, each corner takes up a corner, like this. Now I'll straighten this all out, I'll make sure these things are all straight, perfectly straight, get this thing perfectly straight together, just like this, okay, and then I'll pull, I'll pull this strap, oh, not enough, I gotta let this out a little to get this corner on the corner. There we go. And now I'm gonna pull this as tight as I can. You can see how this works. I pull this as tight as I can, and then I lock it in like this. And this is the vice part right here. So now I make sure that my edges, the ones that I want glued, are perfectly lined up. Okay, those are perfectly lined up. And this is perfectly lined up. I'm gonna pull this a little tighter. Okay. And now I push this down and I lock. Now as I crank this, you're gonna see something happen here. You're gonna see these corners actually get squeezed together. And as it gets tighter and tighter and tighter, you're pushing those corners. This is the greatest frame little machine in the world. You can see how tight these corners are getting right now. Okay. I think that's about as tight as I'm going to get it. And now, that's what it is. And you can see. Now I'm going to have a perfect square there. Now I'll do this to this one first. 
And I actually have another one of these. I'll uh, do the second one. But I thought that would be interesting to see how I'm uh, mitering these corners together without having to, uh, you know, we're just gluing them, you know what I mean? There's some tension on them, They're squeezing them together, squeezing that glue. You can see how it's squeezing the glue out and everything else. It's really incredible. And that's how you glue it, okay? <laughs> As you can see, I just drilled through this whole corner right here. Now, I'm going to take some glue on a dowel. Like this. And now I'm going to stick it into this hole. I'm going to take my hammer. Pop it right through this hole here. And I'm going to wipe the glue off. Now take a rag and wipe the glue off. And basically, see how the vise is holding the corner? And now. I'm going to take my little chop saw, cut off the dowel, now this thing will never come apart, it will always stay together, and I'm going to cut off this part. Pretty cool, huh? And now we're gonna do this to the same, to this side. Well, I'll probably do it a little straighter. <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. Now I gotta do this to all the angle joints. Well, my Alice fans, how you doing? And we have just finished this little project I was doing of the freestanding sculpture. And I know I didn't show the whole thing, and the hardest part of this thing, and I'm gonna show it to you now, was in putting the strings on this. It was absolutely unbelievable. But wait till you see it, I'll show it to you right now. And here it is, folks. Here's the freestanding sculpture that I came up with. And you had to make sure that the strings were completely even, so the thing would stay nice and level. And it took me about 50 tries to do that. But here it is, here's the plans right down here, and this is the finished product. This is the freestanding sculpture, it's actually a stand. And as you can see, oh, you can see how it's so precautious the way it stands. Now you let go of it, and it's standing perfect. Now I'll show you how it works. And it actually works, you can see this. Here, I'm going to put something on top, and look at that. And here we'll put a bottle on top of there. There you go. So it's actually a stand, but it's the coolest stand because look at the way it's held together. The bottom actually floats in space. The top piece due to the strings. I saw this on Facebook and I said, you know, I got to do this. It's such a great little thing. Ah, oh, and I'm glad I made it. It was a lot of fun making it. And as you can see, I showed you some of the preliminaries of making it, but I, uh, I ended up polyurethane in it and putting it all together, and I kind of lost that little bit of film. That's another show of The Mad Artist, and I hope you enjoyed that. It was a, little, uh, it was a lot of fun building, and I hope you like it. <laughs> Look at this, I got my hands in front of everything. I'm the worst cameraman in the world. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see ya.